absolutely. So I'm Heather Jackson. I'm the vice president for the Tennessee Nurses Association. And I just wanted to share some of the work that we've done. Uh, Tennessee Nurses Association has done a great deal of education and advocacy related to APRNs being able to prescribe buprenorphine. We're talking about medication assisted treatment. Um, we certainly advocate for that. And we were very, very pleased when that um, law was recently passed to allow, uh, we were actually the last state in the United States to allow buprenorphine prescribing for dependents. So we were very excited about that and spent a lot of um, months and over a year advocating for that. We continue to highlight alternative and all alternative and complementary therapies for opioid use in pain, uh, in pain management. So myself as a pain clinician, they were talking about opioid quiz time um, with Vanderbilt University. That's a huge initiative that Tennessee Nurses Association has been supportive of. And we've even written up some sample questions that could be targeting registered nurses and LPNs as well as APRNs to help with opioid education and identifying some alternatives to, to opioid and then appropriate opioid selection and management. We did actively oppose um, a recent bill that was imposing mandatory restrictions on APRN practices, such as mandatory reporting to the Board of Nursing and on mandatory on-site physician oversight before due process had taken place. Those can be very, very time consuming. <clears throat> I myself has been an expert witness in those situations, and they can be many, many months up to a year. So we did not support that um, that bill. And then we do work closely with One Tennessee to provide nurses and APRNs opioid educational content. As I was just discussing with Quiz Time, we've piloted a program there, and we hope to offer that to all of um, nurses in the state of Tennessee.